Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to the Swindon lot. And my word, is it going well? Too well. If anything, I think we've peaked too early. Um, but I'm not going to complain. We are top of the table. It's been very tight. It's not been all sailing. Uh, as you can see there, nine wins, two draws, three losses. We've not scored the most goals. We've not we've not conceded the least amount of goals. We've just been winning games 2-1, 1-0. One, one um, it's been going very well, though. If you look at the chart for how it's been going, as you can see, it's been a bit up and down. Um, we've only been as low as fifth, though, which has been the key. We've been in and around it. Uh, we've been on the end of a few hidings. But rather than looking at the highlights of the game, I'm going to look at the player of the episode. And this episode, it's quite obvious. It's Craig Tanner. As you can see there, an average rating of 7.16. Six goals, five assists, two man of the matches, 29 key passes, and 79% pass completion. So this is how he got on. This was Crawley away, got himself a penalty. Um, he's been absolutely brilliant for me. He was brought in on loan from Reading. Um, plays in the attacking midfield role behind the two strikers. Links everything, everything together. Scores all kinds of goals as well. And um, that goal there, good grief. That was the 85th minute against Oldham. It was a must-win game as well to keep us up in the title challenge. Um absolutely brilliant we won that game one nil two another one there close range he, this boy can do it all um really really impressive again he's just right place right time and i love that about him and um, this was an assist he got lovely header such a rarity you don't see that too often on this game and then the finish isn't bad either is it and then uh to cap us off he gets one more goal same game against bradford away um from close range so yeah craig tanner player of the episode uh moving on to mk dons so here we are, MK Dons. Now the reason I picked MK Dons is because I thought they'd be up and in around me. Um, but they've, you know, they've faltered somewhat. They were predicted to finish 6th this season. And as you can see, currently finding themselves in 14th place. Uh, we've dropped to 2nd. I know I, I re recently showed you that we were top of the table. There was a game midweek um, and we've now dropped to 2nd. So, you know, no harm done. Um, so we go into this game looking quite strong. But I want to focus on MK Dons. We looked at the key player for our team. Let's have a look at theirs. So they've got Deli Alley, very highly rated central midfielder. Um, he is there one to watch. 7.03 average rating, three goals, three assists. No man of the match awards, 18 key passes, and an 82% pass completion. So he, for them, has been very good. And he's the guy we're going to have to lock down. Our midfield uh, trio of Harley, who's coming in... Um, because we've got injuries elsewhere. As you can see, a lot of injuries on our bench. Uh, Kasim plays. Andrew Williams has been injured for a lot of the season. Started the season brilliantly. Um, Michael Smith has had to come in to replace him. But this is where the battle will be won. Thompson, Reeves, Harley um, working together in tandem. Very narrow. I agree that we are very narrow, but it's working very well. Our fullbacks are getting involved a lot. Uh, Brad Smith, particularly, being very, very good for us. Seven point rating for a defender is not bad for a left back at all. Um, so enjoying that. And up top, Craig Tanner, Obika, Michael Smith will be the guys to put the ball in the back of the net so let's get into the game uh, i'll see you in just a moment so then we've highlighted a couple of players and lucky for me otherwise the graphic would have been pointless uh deli ellie does start in the middle of the pitch so like i say these three gonna have to be combated by these three and can these three annoy these two that's the question a lot of numbers there folks uh bear that in mind so let's see what our assistant says tight mark he's putting it on them so hopefully we could come out with a win. We've started the season very, very well. Um, the team's clicking, gelling very, very well together. Uh, Obika has been good. Tanner, as I point out, has been the star of the show. So all the pressure's on him now. Um, he, he actually got Player of the Month as well. So let's hope he can do what is required to him. So I'll put this on 2D Classic. And I'll make sure to turn replays on. I messed that up last time. Um, so then... Here goes. Uh, we are in the red, I believe. They are in the white. And... Uh, how is it going to go? 20 seconds in, early chance, Turnbull clears. So our defence is made up of loan players. Uh, Turnbull and Stevens both on loan, as is Brad Smith from Liverpool. And, yeah, it's a bit of a... It's not ideal. I wish we didn't have so many loan players, because if we do end up going up, or even next season, whether we win up or not, it would be a challenge to try and uh, rebuild the squad. So... Yeah, not ideal, um, but they're playing very well. So if they get to where we want to be, that's not a problem. And as you can see there, uh, Thompson on the left-hand side, we've got two Thompsons, uh, one at right-back, one in the midfield, getting forward well. He provides our width. Both full-backs work extremely hard to provide the width for the team. Um, hopefully we don't have any dramas here. Fullingham has been very good as well. Six clean sheets this season. Um, he's been a major factor to why we're doing so well. That's a hopeful ball. Tanner's onto it. Oh, first chance for golden boy Craig Tanner. Um, put it wide. Shucks. Good grief. Good grief's my new football manager saying. Every time something dramatic happens, it's all about the good griefs. Garbutt with the ball in. Flanagan off the bar. Brad Smith clears. Michael Smith, can he keep the ball in play? Just about. Can we launch a counter-attack? No. 
<laughs> I've just noticed we've got two Thompsons and two Smiths. Tanner, ball in, cleared Smith, and it's found its way in. Uh, Michael Smith with the first effort, but it's been given as a Martin own goal. I assume it hits him in the back. <laughs> Let's find out. Tanner, lovely ball in, headed clear. Smith, it hits the player in the face. It then hits the goalkeeper and goes through the player on the line. Heartbreak for MK Dons, but we'll take it. I think that's David Martin in goal. He was an ex-Liverpool player. There you are. Knowledge bombs. Um, he never really played for Liverpool. He was just a reserve keeper that you'd always have on Football Manager. Right then. So that's going very well. I'm pleased with how we're, we're going. Um, keep it up. Fitness is looking very good. Average ratings are all looking fine. Let's go into the second half. We'll stay in standard flexible. Our team instructions are the same as last time. Uh, the same position, work ball into box. Look for the overlap, obviously very important. High tempo, tighter marking, and close down more. I like to hunt in packs. We've got two sets of three, and um, I like to hunt down the ball. So they're really important. Uh, so it's still 1-0, 55 minutes gone. And I'm, I'll tell you what, this is a very fun save. I wasn't sure, like I, I didn't trial this save. Um, but yeah, and thank you to the response on the first video. It was absolutely brilliant. I'm going to upload these twice, three times a week, depending on how well they're doing. Um, but yeah, that's really nice to see, and it? it's nice to see you supporting it. MK Dons, good chance. Deli Alley, oh, Thompson does very well to block out the pass. Uh, kept in, though, so it's not over. Ah, oh, Stevens, strong. Oh, doesn't play the ball out very well, then. A phobie. Ah, oh, and he's put it past our keeper. You feel like he should probably do better. Uh, Benekafobi, I believe he was Arsenal that was at one point, I think. What a pity. Clearance from Stevens puts us in all sorts of trouble. Afobi turns his man and then plays it past the keeper. Oh, dear. Goalkeeper. That could have been a little bit, a little bit better. Now, a weakness of ours this uh, season, especially with so many injuries, is that our bench is not particularly good as Afobi needs scores again. Our bench isn't great, so bringing players off the bench to make an impact isn't the easiest thing to do i'm actually going to change the counter attack they're having a lot of the ball and while i don't want to invite pressure on i want us to be able to break quickly we do keep a lot of men forward um tanner now closing this down if he gets there that's incredible okay they're playing it out quite well deli ali been controlling the game we'll have a look at the end of the game see how he's got on great ball through mk dons can they f bowditch oh that's such a shame such a shame, Dean Bowditch, Ips, Ips, ex Ipswich as well. See, I'm tell you what, I I know all the players from MK Dons. It turns out should have been them. Um, again, anyone to blame here? Really, a phobie. Oh, it's a good, it's a good bit of vision, if anything. And Bowditch, you can't really miss from there. So, although I, I've slagged off the bench, I'm going to turn to it now. What a pity. Um, I think George Barker can come on for Obika. Obika's not been playing the best, or push him up there as a poacher. And uh, Anton Rogers can come on for Harley, who's struggling for fitness, so a bit of a concern pre-game. Um, we'll continue the game. We're currently setting counter. Maybe we invited too much pressure on, and that's what's going to cost us um, at the end of all of this. Apparently, there's some sort of chat going on. So we'll go attacking. Um, there's not long left in the game, though, and it looks like it's going to peter out. They've got another corner. Turnbull does well to clear the first one. Tanner's going out to it. And Tanner's not playing the sort of performance we'd expect. We'll compare Ali and Tanner after the game. Play similar positions. Do similar jobs for their team. So we'll see how they get on. Tanner, can you make a final impact for us? Plays it back into Reeves. We're passing it around. This infuriates me this year on Football Manager. It's happened a few times to me on stream where I get very irate. Um, and that's a wasted ball forward. And it looks like MK Dons are going to have the better of us on this occasion, which is such a shame. And we started off the season very well. Last episode, we got a 3-1 win. Now I've lost 2-1. Away from home. And as I say, MK Dons were predicted to do better than they are doing uh, in, the in the league this season. So unlucky boys, it wasn't our day. They all seem fine with it. We've dropped down to third place, but we're still in the hunt, which is most important. Um, MK Dons now in 11th place. So let's look at some of the key men. I just briefly want to see how they got on. So Deli Ali. 6.5 average rating, Craig Tanner 6.6, .6. neither had a big impact on the game, as you might expect. Um, man of the match for them, Dean Bowditch, who came on as a substitute, which is even worse. Michael Smith getting a goal for us, so not too bad at all. Anyway, that brings us to the end of the Swindon lot, and you'll see me next time. Um, let's, let's find out when that will be, shall we, before we move on. I'd like to give you a little bit of uh, intrigue. Where should we go to? I think we'll come back straight after the January transfer window. So Barnsley. We'll come back for Barnsley. And um, we're at home to Barnsley. That'll be the next game you see. They should be up there too. They're, are they playing well this season? Fifth in League One. So hopefully they're still around there. I'll play plenty of games and I'll see you next time. From me, Dr. Benji, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye. 
Thank you for watching guys. If you have enjoyed the video, please remember to leave a like. And if this is your first time watching the videos, feel free to subscribe. It's free for now. Might increase it to a charge.